Okay, so just quickly, I've got uh, 12 volts positive supplied through the um, bench power supply. Ground's connected to the uh, cam ground on the board, and the two uh, cam wires are connected to the board directly. Uh, I've got 12 volts being supplied uh, through the uh, power supply to the board. Also got the USB connected. Uh, running the uh, is a demo file on the laptop. Uh, let's load it up onto the board now. You'll see is when the uh, new software is loaded, the demo software, that uh, red light will start to blink a lot quicker. There we go. So now we've got the is a demo file installed. So now the board's running uh, with the new uh, is a demo software. Go to serial monitor. You can see that it's communicating uh, board information through the USB. So far, it doesn't look like there's any actual information coming from the shunt itself. So, following the instructions, we want to go into the menu and initialize. So, a quick look at the code here <coughs> shows the uh, initialize new sensor uh, I feature through the uh, serial monitor. So, let's do that now. Okay, so that's done. Uh, now what I'm going to do is reload the uh, Leaf VCU version 1.5. Just because I've customised it, I've um, relabeled it. Current version that I'm using. So what I'm going to do. Let's load that onto the board. So now that's done, uh, we're running the Leaf uh, VCU software, and in theory the uh, can shunt should now be configured. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and connect to the uh, onboard Wi-Fi. So now. Okay, so that's the onboard Wi-Fi connected. So now in theory, if the can shunt's configured correctly, if I apply a load, and I'm just running this light bulb which gives about 5 amps uh, draw just through the uh, 12 volt supply separately from the board. So you see those are 5 amps, 12 volts, but so far nothing's coming through. <coughs> 